two bow ties in a row. How lucky can you get? <laughs> and that leads me to my first slide. How did that impish first grader get to be me? That's what we're going to be exploring tonight as we look at the trajectory of how I became a creative. It started with cereal premiums. I got a sun print kit in a cereal box. And at a very similar time, there was a show on TV of a commercial photographer called Love That Bob. Now, the two processes, as I experienced it from the cereal box, and as it was on Love That Bob, were different. So that started me thinking. I got involved with Watch Mr. Wizard, an early science show for kids on television. I was stimulated, and I got to participate in a real Mr. Wizard with a chemist at the paper mill of the town I grew up in. When I was seven, I disappeared from the family album. My dad took the poorly composed horizontal picture of a vertical subject. I took the one of my dad on the right. Eli Whitney, there was a story that Eli Whitney took apart his father's pocket watch and put it back together. I had received a watch for a Christmas present that ran well, except when I put it on, it ran backwards. So I decided this was the perfect experiment. And I took it apart, and I almost got it back together. 1957, the International Geophysical Year. Explorations of Antarctica, a burgeoning space program, Sputnik, the first satellite launched, The World of Disney and Man in Space by Werner von Braun stimulated me. The New York World's Fair. My aunt collected salt shakers, and she was lucky enough to attend the 1939 New York World's Fair, so I saw salt shakers of the Trilon and Parisphere. And I thought they were tiny, but they were huge. The gentleman on the left is the chief designer of Bulgari jewelry. Creatives have to be attentive to detail. How many of you noticed the unbuttoned button on his cuff? <laughs> Raymond Lowy and Brooke Stevens, both designed for Studebaker. But they not only designed cars, they designed other iconic objects. The GG1 locomotive for the Pennsylvania Railroad. The Wienermobile. <laughs> Designers, creatives, changed the world. Buckminster Fuller. Spaceship Earth. Before the word ecology exploded on the scene, this architect, this visionary, was talking about the need to sustain our planet. Ray and Charles Ames. The fine furniture you see up there began with them manufacturing leg splints for the military in World War II. But what really impressed me were their films, The Power of Ten. My mind reeled at the possibilities. Marcel Duchamp. That's when I knew that, OK, there's more than just putting brush to paper or a piece of paper in a tray to develop a photograph. Art can be conceptual, that there can be an idea behind the object. Now, these are two of my pieces of art. The one on your left, Century of Progress, a friend was going through domestic violence, so I used domestic objects to portray my feelings. The one on the right was made for an off-Broadway production in New York called Mother Wove the Morning. I see faces. Gestalt psychology, pattern recognition. You look at objects and you see familiar things. The bottom left image, everybody thinks that was done on a computer. But that was done in a dark room, using my color head enlarger as a color source in the same way a silk screen printer would create an image. Yes, I'm no Einstein, 
But creatives are sometimes, well, bizarre. A group of students wanted to punk me out for a senior art show, and I allowed them to. Union Terminal in Cincinnati. Architecture plays a big part in my creative process. Um, I dropped uh, images that fit the half dome structure into the image. And it wasn't until I started working on the computer that I realized a full color version. Uh, it's my concept of uh, Dante's three uh, entrances to the, uh, uh, the Inferno. It was mentioned earlier, destruction and creation. These images, the woven background, one image is sent through a shredder, the other is hand cut at right angles, woven together, and then the flower is shaped. Kaleidoscopes as a kid enthralled me. I have a whole series based upon street rods and the image with the wedge shows how they are created. The smaller inset um, that you're going to see right now is made from previous year's Christmas cards. Sampling a wedge of them and then creating the mandala or kaleidoscopic image. And yeah, the rebus, that's a stylized spring and R for my last name on my business card. Finally, one of the biggest impacts in my life was the assassination of President Kennedy. And on a cold October, uh, November day, uh, going to a McDonald's, having to scrape a slit in the windshield to see to get my morning coffee. I had created that poem about the anniversary of his assassination called First Frost. So that's my journey. That's how I became who I am from that impish little kid wearing a bow tie in first grade. <laughs>